Today we're going to do something I'm going to call an IR sorty. Um, the reason I'm going to call it that is because looking at Stanner's document 01, uh, which is kind of the bread and bar for the skills test, which I'm nowhere near yet, unfortunately. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to fly to Lid, we're going to do an RNAV approach, and once we've done the RNAV approach, we're going to probably hold or not hold, and then route back to... Um, I think you should hold, your holds need practice. Okay, that's a good point. So maybe one hold, depending on what happens and to which direction with ATC, because... Nice strong wind up there as well, which makes life somewhat more 25 knots. Oh, good. So once we've done that, uh, we're going to divert route in via these waypoints here to Sierra November Delta. When we get to Sierra November Delta, we may have to hold. So we're simulating the, effectively I'm on a flight to somewhere, i.e. Lid. Yeah. Once we get to Lid, obviously the weather's poop, we divert. We divert into an airport that has a precision approach, i.e. South End, which has an ILS approach. So what I'm going to try and achieve is good flying better than it has been before. Um, if anyone's watched the previous videos, it's not been that great. So we did Big and Hill, yes. did two VORs, yes. not that great. Uh, I flew recently into South End. The video was released obviously a few weeks back from the moment this video is published. You can see the link at the bottom, top, top. Sideways. Sideways, yeah, top basically. Mm -hmm. But obviously it's been a while since I've flown, about a month. Mm -hmm. So obviously getting back into the groove of things. Um, obviously, Tolerances wise, plus or minus 100 foot, but we're looking for zero. So once I've done that, I then want to look at, obviously concentrating on the headings, the tracks that we've got here, that I've obviously looked at this morning and they're a degree or two from yesterday. So these are the correct figures. The wind, which I've noted of is 06424. So I call it 25 knots at 065. Mm -hmm. It's probably the easiest maths because it's not going to be accurate. It's whatever the Met Office sort of say. So we're looking at five, 10 degrees either way yep. on our headings um, for most of this flight by the looks of the tracks and the headings. So we get to Lid. So we're going to go there, fly there, do the RNAV approach, route to the hold. We divert to South End, climb up to 4,000 feet, stick the autopilot on. In the cruise, we can stick the autopilot on. I can listen to the ATIS. Uh, change my charts over, sort everything out, and then obviously once we get to South End, um, we can do the RLS approach into South End. I think they'll be on zero 05. Depends on what they want to do. We're going to ring them up, find out if they can accept us, and then we go from there. Cool. Um, in terms of like for the whole flight, so departure from here, zero 03. So we take off zero 03, right turn, track the heading out, and uh, once we get to 2,000, 200 feet, call it. Try and give 200 foot buffer on control airspace. Right. Okay, welcome back to the flying vlog. We're flying to Lid for a divert to South End, and we're gonna fly at the best of my abilities, right? Sorry, do you want me to wake up? Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> okay, so we're backtracking up to the top, following the Cessna in front. And uh, so when we depart, we will heading 030. Uh, we're going to go to safe height, flaps up. Once we've done flaps up, we're then going to go to 2,200 feet. So on the autopilot, I'm going to set 2,200 feet, which is not working. So 2,200 feet set, so 200 from CAS, and the ideal level of 2,400 feet. Uh, there's someone doing a forced practice, so I'm going to pull off probably in a second actually. But he's landing on that runway, presumably. You hope. Oh, I mean, there's no way he's making that, is he? Do you reckon I should pull off now? Uh, see what he does, see what he does, see what he does. I can pull off quite quickly. Might want to move. Wait till he turns. He's turning. No, he's not. What's he doing? He's turning now. Go off. <laughs> the other one left it a bit late, didn't he? That was, that was quite good, actually. Done with. I thought that was quite good. Roger. He hasn't landed yet. Hey. Hey, not bad. It's That's an uh, arrow, isn't it? All clear. Go off with a Yankee lining up to the free left. Service wind. 0806 knots. Go for a rolling part. Uh, is someone crossing? Golf Juliet Charlie's now student. Golf Juliet Charlie. Oh, one hour solo. That's it. Uh, 
Roger. Okay, runway's ours. He's just clearing. Wait till he goes past the other aircraft. Feet on the pedals. Heading select is correct. Everything's set. Compass agrees. Heading bug select. 1036. 1036. All temperatures and pressures green. Golf November Yankee departing runway 03 left. Romeo Yankee. Four power. One zero two zero eight off. Feet to the floor. Slight wind to the right. Airspeed is alive, looking for 59 knots. Five in the climb. I'm on instruments. Sufficient altitude flaps up. That's better. I know. Well, clear to the south east, the head corner, one, two, two, just one, two, one, zero. Uh, thank you, goodbye. He's funny, isn't he? 1,000 to go. Final, second off. Uh, service wind, zero, seven, zero, nine knots. Julia Charlie, cross my one, two, three. That was a glorious day. 100 foot to go. 100 foot to go. How much is pressure screen? 1200 we have. Golf November Yankees departing to the southeast. We'll all things to change down to south and radar. 130780 point. Thank you, goodbye. I'll intercept our heading. On the 151 radial. Staff and radar, good afternoon. Golf Zulu Alpha November Yankee traffic service. Golf Zulu Alpha November Yankee, South and Rider, good morning, Posh message. Golf Zulu Alpha November Yankee is Stapleford, two lids, two on board, DA40, uh, just departed Stapleford, tracking Baker, request the traffic service. Golf November Yankee, we're just got 4575, you identified traffic service, new QNH 1035. QNH 1035, and we're scorking 4575, Golf November Yankee. Uh, Golf November Yankee, just say any level on that QNH? 2200 feet on QNH 1035. Golf uh, November Yankee, Roger, and I've got a booking for you at 1015, deck to Dallas to land, is that uh, no longer fine? Uh, it is applying, but we'd like to delay that by uh, 45 minutes in total. We're just heading to uh, Lid as planned, and then we're going to be back to you in about half an hour from that point onwards. Golf November Yankee, understood, and you landing at Lid? Uh, negative, just doing an RNAV and then uh, practice diversion to yourself for the ILS. Golf November Yankee, understood. So one thing I sort of did on previous flights that was really bad is I'd be head down looking at frequencies. Right, one o'clock, four miles, opposite direction, primary only contact, slow moving, level and type unknown. Looking golf of Yankee. Do that. Do that, I'll look for this. I think it's in Damon's Hall. Yeah, there's a, there's a those little five legs down there. Basically, they don't wear transponders. The only one should do by law. Why doesn't the law change? Golf Golf Yankee Golf Seven thousand by now. What's that place called? Naaman's Hall. Yeah. Looks rather sweet. Golf November Yankee, that traffic now right two o'clock, one mile, very slow moving, but we'll pass uh, down your right hand side. With visual. Golf November Yankee's visual. Roger. Uh, 
got another Yankee VIP at uh, the same level, 2200. Looks like an ARV2. What is it? ARV2. If I stay on this heading, I should intercept that a little bit better. I'm slightly to the. about a quarter of a mile, wasn't it, at this distance? Yeah, it should be smack in the middle because you're cruising, so it should be. I bet we have just changed direction, so it's obviously the winds. I'll let you off. The wind's quite strong, as you can tell by looking at that river. Oh, yeah. Thirty knots, you reckon, at this altitude? I mean, you can tell by our ground speed. Well, we're moving, right, it's all right. We're moving along nicely, so that's fine. That wind is strong. It's like, look at the heading we're flying to track that course. Yeah. It's strong, isn't it? Slowly correct. Well, you see the turbines as well moving, so the turbines are moving at a fair pace, so they must be doing about 20 knots down there. But it was quite bumpy on the march, wasn't it? Radar, Golf, Echo, Golf, Sierra Lima, request max penetration and ADC transit. Golf, Echo, Golf, Sierra Lima, second radar, departure message. We can climb up to free, see? Down overhead, down mid overhead, and then show back to North World. Golf, Echo, Golf, Echo, Golf, Echo, Golf, Echo, I don't think he wants, I don't think he knows where he wants. We're doing a lovely day to go France. We'll look out, go off to the double. Heading, the wind is varying, isn't it? That's what the turbulence is, because it's coming over the downs. Yeah. Because my heading, it, it, it keeps wanting to go that way, and then it corrects itself, and then it goes back. So it's, it's gusting at this level, which is, is it the thermals that's doing that, or what? Just the wind blowing over the hills. Because it's varying, it's causing different angles of uh, heading track, isn't it? Up, 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 up. Hey. Golf, November Yankee, climbing to altitude 3,000 feet. Golf, November Yankee, Richard. Golf, Charlie Victor, contact South End Director, 132 decimal 455. 122455, Golf, Charlie Victor. Golf November Yankee, traffic 12 o'clock, 7 miles crossing right left is part of A, view indicating 1,800 feet. Golf November Yankee, Russia looking for the traffic. Go on, foot to go. Acknowledged receipt of information, Victor, QNH, 1043, 5. Golf November Yankees, uh, remaining outside controlled airspace level 3000. We're going to fix the change now to LID and uh, we see you once we've been there. Golf November Yankee, Roger, just before you go then, uh, traffic 12 o'clock, 6.5 miles right left, indicating 2700 feet. Golf November Yankee, Roger, looking for the traffic. November Yankee, radar service now terminates, Skulk 7000, by now. 7000, Golf November Yankee. Service, holding point Charlie for zero. Three. How many miles away was it? Six. Zero, three, five. Over there then, is he? Yeah, I'll go this way anyway, we're going to go this way. Golf, go on. Let it break, uh, good. Afternoon, Golf Zulu Alpha, November Yankee, inbound, direct Saudi, level 3,200 feet, we're at DA40, information under Victor, QNH 1035. Golf Fox Control, equal to land runway 03, set between 05016 North. Golf Fox Control, equal to land. Reckon I was stepped on. Golf Zulu Alpha, November, uniform, correction, Yankee, a lid approach, good morning, basic service. Uh, clear to Saudi for the INF approach, runway 21, 3200 feet, QNH 1035, Squawk 7067. Okay, we're cleared direct Saudi at uh, altitude 1, correction, altitude 3200 feet, Squawk 7065, QNH 1035, Golf November Yankee. Squawk 7067. 7067, Golf November Yankee. And uh, just confirm we are cleared for the RNF approach for runway 21, Golf November Yankee. Hey, cleared for the RNF approach runway 21, Golf November Yankee. Okay, it's 11 miles to run to Saudi. I'm in terminal mode, which is good. Um, 
before we get to Saudi, about a couple of miles before, reduce the 50% power and reduce on the airspeed. And we discussed on the ground that we're going to descend at 200 feet per minute from uh, the waypoint uh, Tumva down to MA21, wasn't it? Or 2700 MT215. Rather than just drop it down, it was 200 feet per minute, wasn't it? Yeah, you don't want to do that either. Okay, so it's probably a good time now actually to do my pre-landing check. So brakes are off, fixed the undercarriage, prop, temperatures, pressure, screen, fuel sufficient to divert, everything secure in the cabin, passengers briefed, um, approach briefing. So obviously 50% power, um, reduced to about 100 and something knots. Full stage, uh, first stage of flap, uh, 200 feet per minute once we reach the waypoint Tumba. When we reach Tumba, we're going to descend to MD21F. Initially 2,700 feet set in the box, uh, all manually flown, um, and obviously we're going to let him know that we're established on the final approach mix. Um, and um, in the meanwhile, obviously descending to the decision height of 440 feet. Once we're at 440 feet, we're going to commence the missed approach. Uh, you press OBS, if my memory serves me right, which I think gives me the heading direct to Bemla. When we get to Bemla, route around to Rob team, we're going to hold one lap and then route back to South End. That's the obviously practice diversion, right? Sounds good. Golf with them Yankees over in Saudi, 3,200 feet. Golf with them Yankees, report established on the final approach track. Report established on the final approach track, Golf with them Yankees. That's mad, look at that. There we go. Next, 199. So when I turn around, it's going to blow me that way, isn't it? Yes. And we're going to start a descent. Oh, feet I, per minute. I would cancel out on that. About there, actually. Yeah. Right, there go. Okay. The track's going to be the same, though, isn't it? Because we're blowing with the wind. Is that right? So if I start my 200 feet per minute descent now to 2,700 feet, that should be CDAF then. Probably 50 per hour. So that's 200 feet per minute, isn't it? Thereabouts. Slightly left of track. Bear in mind we've got the danger area to our left as well. So, correction, 210. Off November Yankees, just established on the final approach track, runway uh, 21. Off November Yankee, Roger, port 3 miles to the missed approach point. 4 3 DME, Golf November Yankee. So what's our, what's our height on the top? So by uh, 7 miles we should be 2,700 feet. Okay, cool. And 6 miles we should be... Sorry, 5 miles, 2,320 feet. We're in approach mode. And we have 4.67 miles to run. So 4 DME height check should be 1,950 feet, so we're slightly above. Slightly right of track. Slightly, you're well right of track. So, 4 DME approaching. 3 miles, we should be 1,500 feet, so we're slightly above. And with approach, this is Golf Echo, Papa Yankee Whiskey, a local. Approaching 3 miles should be 1,570 feet, so we're well above. On track. Climate to 3,200 feet on the go. Thank you, Whiskey, basic service, taxi to Hunting Point Charlie, runway 03, Squawk 7066. Basic service, taxi to Charlie, runway 03, Squawk 7066. Go on, Yankee Whiskey. Oh. Golf of M Yankee, ten and a half miles. Golf of M Yankee, Roger. Cleared low approach ground, runway two one with the right turn out towards south end. Surface wind zero six zero one five knots. Cleared low approach ground, runway two one, uh, right turn out on track south end. Golf of M Yankee. Good point. One point five five miles. We should be at altitude at eight hundred ten feet. Golf of M Yankee, Hotel. We complete out here. About two hundred foot above. Runway three four eight miles east of the field. 600, 
Alpha Fox, I heard Tarot report coasting at Dimchurch, QNH now 1034, Squawk 706. Oh, Miles, go. So she missed a punch point. Oh, Miles, wasn't it? Vision I is 440. Golf Golf Charlie, 3500, 1035 and 10 miles out. Golf Golf Charlie, Squawk 7000, free call in information, 120.275, good day. Seven thousand one two zero. Track in the middle. Golf, golf, Charlie. Thank you. Charlie, let's go. Approaching waypoint. Profile. Charlie, it's a little traffic. You may see it's DA forty shortly going around off runway two one, following an instrument approach and That's four forty feet below. approaching. Copy, traffic. Golf, unit, unit. Let's suspend. So ops. Give me a heading. Right turn. Come back. Why is it climbing so slow today? Got a wind guy. Busy with traffic. It's near now. Take off there. The Yankee is traffic about half a mile to run to the event from the west, 1500 feet. Go oh, on. November Yankee, Roger. Mission height, flaps up. Looking for 329. There comes that wind. <laughs> and we are direct to Bembla, but we're going to go south end, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Dark south end. Delta Lucy, downwind, right hand 03. Right hand 03, report downwind, Gold Judy 0. Up to 4. I don't think we can go up to 4. Golf from the Yankees climbing away to level 4,000 feet. Go on H1035. Golf from the Yankees, Roger, pull 10 miles north of fleet. We'll go Golf from the Yankees. Remote means it links up with this. Uh, okay. It won't be sound there, it's on there, but frequency is if you want to manage it. Six lane runway zero three, seven twin zero six zero one six knots. Oxygen go to the runway zero three. Actually, we'd have to do three. Because that's three, five. Charlie, lift approach. Good afternoon, basic service. Taxi, on in point Charlie, runway 03, QNH 1034. Five o'clock, let's go. 066. 066, QNH 1034. Taxi, to holding point Charlie, golf, Charlie. Well, that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? Oh, the bumpy bumps. I think it was ski left turn, clear take off 0 3, surface wind 0 6 0 1 6 knots. Clear take off the left turn now, copy it, do it. Off of Ebianke is level at 3000, we're 4 and a half miles, do you want us to go over now or stay with you for a bit? Off of Ebianke, 8 firm, support 7000, 3 call south end 130 780, bye bye. Okay, 3 call radar 130 780, escort 7000, cheer up, off of Ebianke. On third contact, report alpha meter setting and information. Victor received. And they're on Victor as well, how weird is that? <laughs> South End Radar, good afternoon. Golf Zulu Alpha November Yankee with DA40 information, Victor QNH 1035. Direct the Sierra November Delta, progress radar Victor Zardis approach from runway 05 on IFR. Golf November Yankee, Richard, basic service outside control, airspace, South End QNH. 1035, squawk 4575. 4575, and if possible, we'll go to traffic service. Golf November Yankee. Uh, traffic service outside. Golf 
IFR Golf November Yankee. I did tell him at the end. Golf 2 Alpha November Yankee, clear flat south end controlled airspace heading at 340 degrees at altitude 2000 feet. Okay, clear to end controlled airspace on track 340 degrees altitude 2000 feet, Golf November Yankee. Golf November Yankee, clear. You know why he's descended this early, don't you? You listen to what was going on. The other guy in transit VFR. Uh, right, right VLOC mode. Uh, we'll identify the ILS shortly. Uh, it's not in there. Now, 11135, we'll hide in that shortly. 50%, 500 feet per minute, heading 340, and I can set the ILS approach heading to 054. So, approach brief, uh, he's radar vectors ILS for runway 05. Same, same as before with the Arna, 50%, call it about 60%, I think gave us a better airspeed with the wind. Um, follow his headings. 2,000 feet, the minimum safe altitude is 1,700 feet. Obviously we're on a radar service. Um, so I'm going to head down to 255 feet, wish me luck. And obviously because we're landing on this one, on the final approach, we get 255 feet, 20% power, four stage blacks. Turn left heading uh, 310 degrees golf November. I'm curious as to why he just didn't give us a heading. Is it because we're outside CAS? Because he said clear to enter on a heading of 310 rather than a uh, left heading 310. Yeah, you're outside control of airspace. Is that the reason? Because he's still got to clear us in on that heading change. Okay, so pre landers, bumps, fitch, all secure. You're all secure. Fuel sufficient to avoid vert, do a transfer. Bye bye. Did it bump it? Yeah, no, it's not really. Bumpy Nora. Left Yankee traffic left 11 o'clock, 5 miles, cross and down your left hand side, indicates 1,900 feet. Golf Nova Yankee looking at remaining 2,000 feet. Well, I think this one we should have, all should have ADSB in, in and out. Then we're going to have the weather as well. Golf Nova Yankee turn right now, heading 340 degrees, radar vectoring arms approach from way 05. Right turn, 340 degrees, rate of it, the side of the bridge, runway 05, golf, yeah. Well. Uh, I'm going to go 108 knots now. I guess just before we can start reducing, because the headwind will slow us down anyway, won't it? Yeah. So just obviously want to be configured for the descent. This is Canby, I don't know. Alright, we're in VLOC mode. Identified 113 decimal 5, I need to do the ADF because that's part of the ILS. That's identified. Golf to Zambi Yankee, approaching 8 miles from touchdown, turn right, heading 010 degrees, cleared arms approach from way 05. Just confirm the heading, turn right, Golf November Yankee. Golf November Yankee, turn right now, heading 015, cleared ILS approach from way 05. Right turn 015, cleared ILS approach from way 05, Golf November Yankee. Golf November Oscar, basic service on leaving. Just to confirm, that was 2,500 feet, your last transmission was broken. 2,500 
Saffron Tower, Golf Zulu Alpha, November Yankee, 4 miles on this approach, runway 05. Golf Zulu Alpha, November Yankee, Saffron Tower, hello, runway 05, here's land, so 060 degrees, 119. Here's land, runway 05, Golf Zulu Alpha, November Yankee. Yeah, I was just aviating first, sorry, I should have said. Okay, next right, brother. Okay, right, my brother, go for me, Yankee. Okay, brother's next right. Welcome to South End. South End. Light coming off. Only way is Essex. Place to follow him, wasn't it? Yeah, well, we were. That's cool. So we're now on the ground at South End, uh, about to have some nice lunch. So, anyway, we did the Arnav approach. You did. Um, but before you take off, you have to remember. So, we do it step by step, let's break it down. Right, so. so, before you took off, the thing you didn't do, which you need to do because you'll fail before you even leave, is. You turn right, and you point the AI and go, it's upright. You point to the directional driver or the HSI and say, it's increasing. Yeah, um, yeah that's right, right. Um, and you point to the turn bank and show that that's pointing the right way. And the, and the, new is, and the ball has moved. And you point to the compass to show it's doing exactly the same as the... Because if it doesn't work and you've not checked it and you get airborne and full IMC, you're, you're dead. A bit buggered. Mm. So then you turn left. Yep. And you do exactly the same thing again. Yep. And you point to them to show that that's what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's very, very, very important. And, and you can do that in a taxi because you do, you you've do got enough. So you're taxiing along. Capacity you literally just turn right and yeah. go dunk, 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 dunk. So he can see you're doing it. Turn right, dunk, 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 dunk. Yeah. You can see you're doing it. Right. 
Um, that was fine. It was a bit bumpy today um, as you got towards the North Downs. Your height was going up and down. Fine, your height can go up and down, you're allowed to. But always say altitude correcting. Altitude correcting. Just to show that you've seen it and you're doing something about it. Even if you suddenly get into a mountain wave and you're going up at 4,000 feet a minute, you've got the nose down and you're on full power, and you're still going up at 4,000 feet a minute. If you say altitude correcting, he knows you're doing something about it as opposed to, I don't really know what's going along here, I'm just going to sit here and hold on to my stick. Yeah. Yeah? The RNF was fine. Uh, remember your three times table. It's very important. It's very easy then to work out what height you should be at the distance from the airport. Without thinking about Without it too much. Without thinking about it. Mm. So if you're four miles from the airport on a three degree base slope, you should be at 1200 feet. Yes. Four threes, 12. Yep. It's very, very simple. ILS was good. Apart from when I said you would don't lose the glide slope, don't lose the glide slope. You corrected it, you picked it up again. And just as you picked it up again, bearing in mind the distance from the airport, mm. which was pretty close, you then decided to go and stick some flaps in. And which meant I lost the height. Which meant you then went straight through it and became underneath it. So whereas before you were quite safe because you were above the glide slope, you were then dived through the glide slope and went underneath it. And it, yeah. it started climbing up like that. And that's very yeah. dangerous when you're that close to the airport for obvious reasons. Yeah. So you should have left that alone. You had a huge long runway to play with. All you needed to do is just cross the threshold, pull the power, and you'd have landed. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah you'd have floated for a little while, but hey, you'd have landed. So that's something to bear in mind when you're actually landing rather than practicing a go around. Yes. Yeah, so Cause if you were going down to 250 feet, you were at 500 feet, you started losing it. Yeah. That's fine. You picked it up again, and you stayed on it, and then you reached across here, and because you're so close to the runway, you then went, ah! Yeah. Because your focus went off onto that. Mm. You should be able to, if you're going to do that, you should be able to just go dunk without even taking your eyes off the artificial eyes and the glow star. Yeah. Yeah? You should know where that is without having to look for it. Mm. Like in my plane, I can literally just do that. Okay? Otherwise, it was good. Yeah? V ref, I drum this into everyone's head. I'm, when you're taught to fly light aircraft, they sort of go, Aim for about 75 for the threshold. It's not good, is it? Not good. And they sort of pick and it's, it's, it's woolly. No. You fly a laminar flow wing aircraft, which means it will float like a brick. Sorry, it'll float and float and float and float. And float, float like a brick it means like, it'll drop yeah, out of the sky like a brick. Yeah, float like <laughs> an angel. It'll just keep on floating. So <laughs> you need to get that VF right. VF yeah. 1.3 stall speed as a general rule. So bottom yeah. of the white arc, that's the stall speed. Time's 1.3. That's the speed you have to hit when you cross that threshold. Perfect timing. Yeah, good, perfect. And food's alive. Lovely. Super good.